Well, welcome back, my friends, all to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Outdoors. Now, this is the Akron, and I believe, I believe it is the SF5. Nope, that is not right. It is the SFS. Now, here's the deal. This is a knife that is made for Akron by Fox Knives. I believe the company Akron is based out of Paris, France, while we all know that Fox Knives is based out of Italy, and I love Italian-made knives. This one is designed by Tony Lopez. It is in N690 steel. The blade stock is 3 16 inches thick. The overall length is about 12 and a quarter. Blade length is seven inches. Cutting edge is six and three eighths inches. The blade width is an inch and three quarters. The handle length is five and a quarter. The inner grip, which is very important to me, is four and three eighths. So what that's telling us is just about any hand in the world can hold it. And that's important. The handle width is five eighths. So it's a very, very comfortable comfortable handle and that means the world to me i believe these are micarta scales there we see the n690 steel now here's the deal here's a big one for a lot of guys the weight the blade weight is 13.157 ounces and there's the balance point there very very well done and highly scientific by old scabber i do not know why i've been over there maybe i was just trying to stay in frame we're doing the Donnie B all day drop and the Donnie B all day throw it at the stump. Let me let me just say this. This is a well-designed, well-balanced combat knife. Now, I've got to uh, do a big shout out to Timbo437. If you're not following him, man, make sure you do. The guy is an amazing guy. He sent this to me for a review. And the truth is, man, he helps a ton of knife reviewers out. I love this knife but i i love them all and y'all know i do that's why you watch the channel here's here's the deal this is reinforced sandblast hose i changed <laughs> i changed the camera angle sometimes i outthink myself and then i was trying not to get my fat ass in the way of the cut so if you're wondering what the hell is scab doing don't worry so am i it's just all part of the plan here to confuse the hell out of people here's the deal guys it is a, I, I want to call it a clip point, but let's talk about the handle for, for just a few more minutes. Like I said, that inner grip is four and three eighths with a handle width of five eighths. It is, I believe it's my car to handle skills. Could be wrong there. I am quite often, but dude, it just feels good in hand. It makes the knife easy to control. Big shout out to Kirk. We were over at the studio yesterday. Always appreciative for him for jumping in and helping. Let me let me speak on that for a minute too, because Kirk is as much a part as Choir Boys Outdoors as I am, as Megan is, as, as anybody is. The thing that I enjoy about doing videos with Kirk, it's not just, oh, there's somebody else to jump in. We're built differently. We have different techniques. But I learned a lot from Kirk. We used to work together. And he's really the one that got me into a lot of the different knives. I like getting someone else's opinion. We, we went back and forth on the format of this video quite a bit. And I think it worked out quite well. Had him do some stuff while I was still unloading the car. The other thing is, I don't want to say it keeps the review honest. But when Kirk's around... I can bounce stuff off of him. I can, you know, hey, what do you think about this? Or what do you think about trying this? What do you think about the knife? What's your thoughts on the knife? You know, he don't always love what I love. Now, he loved this knife because it's a well-made, well-balanced, good-looking. And, and I don't know how old this knife is. I can tell you this. It's got Timbo's edge. And if you know anything about Timbo, the dude loves a sharp edge. Let's take a look phenomenal the zip tie test one of my favorite tests why because i don't know honestly honestly no the reason i like the zip tie test is this when you when you're cutting the zip ties i put them at all different tightness levels some may be super tight some may be loose 
but you almost feel a twang when you go in there and you go to cut it. Now, the thing is, it's not about sharpness. It puts direct pressure on that edge bevel. Will it chip it? Will it not? I like doing that. Here we're just doing some light chopping. We're going to do a little heavier batoning. Um, I don't, I, I tend to enjoy N690. I'm not a steel snob. I'll, if it's heat treated well, I'm ecstatic. I, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I don't know enough about the different steels to sit here and, and try to go on some long diatribe about it. I know that I've had good success with it when it's done right, but that's any steel, right? I screwed up the filming on that, and I apologize. We shot this scene, I think, two or three times. So at this point, the knife had cut this particular four-inch ratchet strap probably eight times. I got this ratchet strap from the guy at work who does all our over-the-road hauling. He's like, man, I'm going to throw this away. I said, no, uh-uh, no, sir. He goes, you want it? I said, brother. So I may have found me an infinite source of ratchet straps. That would be dope. The four-inch ratchet strap that we're using here presents a unique challenge. It really does. I didn't realize how big a difference cutting the four from the two is, it's worlds apart. It's just more fabric, right? But it gives less room, less play for that blade to work. So it really, 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 I think is a great, great test to do. And it's another one I enjoy. It's a tough medium. If you can cut it, and, and it's one of the, my big three, sandblast hose, ratchet straps, and that damn nylon rope that I hate. Now, I'm gonna be quiet for a minute, let's listen. The reason I wanted y'all to listen, that's some of that tough box store wood, man. That's some of that shit from like Home Depot or the, the gas station that you get that it's just petrified. Now, I mentioned earlier that I'm a huge fan of Italian made knives. I really, really am. There's just something elegant about them. Not everybody likes them, but that's the beauty of, of having a knife community on YouTube. Not everybody's going to agree on the, on the aesthetics, right? But the one thing that nobody can disagree with is this. This is a working some bitch. Now, I've mentioned this before. Timbo sent this to me to check out. Guys, when another YouTuber sends me a knife to check out or a box of knives, in the case of Timbo, I'm going to do what I do. I, that's the way we've set up our channel to test a certain way. We do a little bit harder use. We do not do abuse. One thing I'm not going to do with, with another man's knife is a tip test. I'm just not. That We did some stabbing up front. We threw it at a stump. That will suffice. And it, it's just a respect thing. You know what I'm saying? This thing ain't cheap. I believe it ships to the U.S. for about 380 bucks. So I felt like, and Kirk did too, we kind of came together on, you know, we've got enough footage here to give you a good, good look at a great knife. Now, I mentioned it was a combat utility style. Y'all know how I feel about that, guys. I mean, you know, I, I, I love aggressive knives. I love the look of the combat knives. But the thing is, there's only a couple ways we can demonstrate. As the channel grows and we get some ballistic gel and we get some better knife acumen in and, and think of some different stuff we can do, great. But for the meantime, we focus more on the utility side. I want y'all to understand that if you're new here. I in no way claim to be an expert in knife fighting. I've been stabbed, been cut, returned the favor. That just means I'm a criminal and a moron, not a knife fighter or knife expert. I will say this, guys. Comfort in hand is everything to me, and this knife absolutely exemplifies that. I love this knife. I'm trying to add some different stuff. I like tent-making poles and that kind of thing. Um, we're going to add some tri-stick stuff. 
Guys, we're at the most important part of this video. There was a time in this country where 22 vets a day took their own lives. Now stats are everywhere. We're coming off a weekend and a holiday. The number's higher. The actual numbers are between 15 and 29. That's why on this channel we focus on the number zero. And all that means is this. Vets, you're welcome here. We love you. You have a place here. That's all that means. I'm not a veteran. My wife is. My son is. Grandfathers were. I'm not. But vets causes are on my hearts. I back the blue. It's probably one of the more controversial things I do. I've, un I've explained it a million times. How do you do it, Scab? Well, I don't break the damn law. I realize that, that saying that bothers people. I don't know why. Half of it's tongue in cheek. There was a time I broke the law every day. Uh, now I've cut way back. If I do, I accept responsibility. And finally, if you are an addict, never quit quitting. Well, Timbo, thank you, brother. I did a, a test right after I got done testing the knife, and then I stropped it. That's what you see there. Brought it back tremendous. Love it. I'm scab. You're not, and I'm gone.